Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a YouTube video with nothing but this. So starting with our phone, these are the apps we're going to need. We have camera, iMovie, photos and Chromic. So as far as gear goes, we're going to need the iPhone itself, a pretty rubbery case. This is exceptional, but this is going to help us if we want to attach it to a tripod. I was going to need this little dolly. I made this custom made out of a couple of Lego pieces. First of all, let's put the case onto the iPhone. So we're going to just pop the iPhone into here. I'm going to grab our subject, which is going to be my old phone and start filming. All right, so now that we're in the camera app over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tap and hold onto my iPhone and it'll appear with this little um, yellow piece up the top. And so now we can slide up and adjust the brightness exactly how we want it to be. So now I've just moved my entire setup a little bit to the right. I'm gonna take another shot just panning down this way now. So now it's always good to remember not to stay too close to your subject, otherwise your audience will never really see what you're trying to show them. It's always in their face, they'll never really get an idea of exactly what it is they're looking at. Okay, so you can see our setup has now moved onto a tripod. I'm going to do one of my favorite pans, and that's the overhead pan. It's pretty simple, what you do is you make sure two of the tripod legs are facing the subject, so there's an opening where the subject is. What that results in is if you push this forward, you get a really, really nice steady pan going over the subject. So I'm going to take another pan coming out of the subject this time. You want to ease out of your shot. You don't want to just go straight down like this and knock it into the ground. You want to go from fast and just slow down. Okay guys, so for this shot, I want the phone to be in focus, but for everything else to remain out of focus, even before the phone comes into the camera. So what I'm going to do is before I hit the record button, I'm going to bring my phone exactly where I want it, and I'm going to lock the focus on my phone. It still remains blurry. So I'm going to hit the record button now and then bring my phone in and it'll look like it's blurry all the time and my phone comes into focus. Okay, so now that we've finished with all our footage, we can go ahead and switch off our camera and go into the Chromic app over here. I have to say, using a stylus for the rest of the video will make it much, much easier, but if you don't have one, it is still completely possible. So, I'm going to select our first clip that we have right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and add the STO effect, and you can slide down to increase and decrease how much you want it. That's about perfect. So, I'm going to hit the tick button now and I'm going to say save as a copy. So now what I have to do is go ahead and do this for all of the other videos. Okay, so now that you've colored corrected all of the footage, you can go ahead and switch on iMovie. Turning the phone landscape now will make it much, much easier. So I'm just going to hit create a new movie and make sure I select movie and not trailer. So now it's going to ask which footage I want and I'm going to select all of my color corrected footage. Make sure you select that footage. It's kind of in the wrong order so what I can do is I can tap and hold and now I can drag my video clips where I want them to be. Alright, so now that I have my video clips in the order that I want, I'm going to go ahead and select these little transitions over here. Presets to dissolve, you want to make sure you select none. Go ahead and do that for all of the clips as well. So what we need now is to get some music so we can beat match it to the song. That's one of my main, main secrets. I don't use transitions, I use the beat of the music. Rather than using dissolve or fade or swipe, let's say the song has a drum beat, then it switches to the next clip rather than using like a dissolve or something like that. Alright guys, so I've got my song on the computer over there. Unfortunately, I don't have a way of bringing it across to my phone, so there's a bit of a cheat way of doing it. I'm just going to hit the plus sign here, scroll down to voiceover and hit that. I'm going to make sure the cursor is right at the start of the video, by the way. And then I'm just going to hit record and it'll give me three seconds and I'll play it on the computer and just record the sound. Guys, so now that I've got my song in the timeline, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through the clip and um, try and beat match it to the song. And just make sure that you get out these start bits and these end bits so that it's a nice smooth clip at all times. Currently it ends pretty abruptly, but what I can do is if when I hit the audio tab just on the side here, I can go ahead and hit fade in the bottom right corner here. And it gives me this little tab thing, and if I pull that back, so now that we've done the fade, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my cursor all the way back here. So now I'm going to go ahead and tap there, and hit the scissors icon, and hit split clip just there. So I'm just going to add text, and I'm going to add, let's see, the um, iPhone. If 
I hit done just here, you'll see it comes into this little page and I can hit this export tab in the middle here. So I'm just going to hit save video just in the middle here and you will see it'll start giving me an option of what save quality I want. 720p is probably the best, you could go 1080p, but that will use up a lot of space. Anything below that will be really blurry. So as you can see, the iPhone is plenty capable. I only spent around 10 minutes making that video and it came out looking pretty, pretty good. I've made actually around eight of my videos using my iPhone. As you can see, iMovie on the iPhone is a really, really good stepping stone into getting into videography. If you guys want to see any more videos of how I make my videos, like on Final Cut Pro, or even how I film my videos, comment down below and I'll show you a proper tutorial of how I make my flagship videos. But for now, hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a video on your iPhone. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you in the next one.